everyone. I'm Janet Miranda in News and Entertainment. Really excited to be here today at the historic Belmore Movies and Showplace located in Nassau County of Long Island in Belmore, New York. We're here for the 22nd annual Long Island International Film Expo where over 150 films ranging from features to shorts to documentaries and animation are being screened for audiences and celebrities worldwide. We're going to show you guys some exclusive interviews from the winners of this amazing film expo. So please stay tuned to see more in news and entertainment. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, what are you waiting for? We're bringing you the best in news entertainment. So go ahead, click like and subscribe. I'm Janet Miranda, your host at News and Entertainment. Hey guys, it's Janet Miranda at News and Entertainment. I am so excited to be here today with a really special guy, John Gallagher. Yes? That's me. Everybody here today at this gorgeous theater has been talking about you and what you've been doing. We're at the Long Island International Film Expo. You did it. Yes, you did. So tell me, John, your movie. How many do you have here today? Well, uh, this year I have one a short called Wink uh, that played last night. Um, but this is my fourth time here, I believe, and I've made... 40 movies in 40 years. So you've making a movie a year? It's turned out that way. It actually, when I started out, it was more like every couple of years, but we were shooting on 35 millimeter. Uh, now with the digital revolution, it's, you know, like last year I made a feature and two shorts. In one year, you've made three projects. Yes, yes. That, that's incredible. And are you writing these projects as well? Uh, the last two shorts uh, were written by an actress named Meredith Ross, who actually studied with me. I'm also a film acting teacher at One on One uh, in Manhattan. And, uh, but the, the feature I did co-write, it's called Sarah Q, which is coming out later this year. How long have you been in film? Uh, my first movie, I was uh, 22, right out of school. Uh, we raised the money from an accountant in Deer Park, and, uh, and, and we made an East Coast Beach movie that we shot uh, down the Jersey Shore. And it had a happy ending because New Line Cinema bought it, but you know, I, I didn't really know what I was doing, certainly. Um, but after I directed some theater, that's when I feel I became, you know, a real director. In the theater experience. So what was it about the theater? Was it the energy from the crowd or what was it? It was it? about uh, a, the, the acting and text. So basically the acting and the writing. And that was your focus. And staging. You know, that was the focus. It wasn't the camera, the lenses, the light, you know. So... You know, it got everything gets stripped down to the you know the basics, and uh, it also meant that I could uh, really work with the actors. Like my very first movie, the beach movie, you know, I cast. I had you know old girlfriends from college and high school, and it was a like bad idea. Um, but you know, when you can really work with work with actors, I mean, that's what it's about. I mean, they're up there on screen, and you know, I'm considered an actor's director because, you know, in any film I do, um, you know, if we do a take uh, and an actor says, you know, I, I, it starts to explain why they did that take. That I'm like, I, I don't care. We're not going to do it again. That take doesn't exist. That's ancient history. If you want to talk about, it, we'll talk about it at the rap party, but not. You know, now we're we're what we're doing now. You know, I love seeing uh, the film that uh, the improv fairy tale, the improv movie. I, I actually made a film that was also entirely improv. I have to tell you, I respect directors so much for working on improvisational films because I think that that is really, really co-creating with the actors and really just creating well, such it incredible magic. It, it totally is, and in fact, on that film. I credited all the actors with the writing as well. Um, I'm going to do a short uh, very, very soon. Am I going to be cast in that short? <laughs> Based on... That laugh didn't sound too promising. 
based on a monologue that I wrote. Um, and I, we, I was working, coaching an actress, and uh, she did the monologue beautifully. I say, you know what, let's do this as a straight scene. And the other actor I had in the scene, did, now you interrupt her whenever, whenever you feel like saying something. And it turned out to be hilarious, and that's what we're going to do. So that there, I'm going to co-credit, you know, those actresses with with the script on on that one, you know, as well. So, it, is that more difficult to film though, when you have to do like? Well, you have to know that you have something always something to cut away to. So, for example, we're shooting all your foot, all your side of the scene. Well, make sure you're going to get, you know cutaways of whatever a glass of wine or the you know the, the other actors uh, the other the other actors uh, reactions you know um, so as long as you have something to cut to you know you can you can make that work you know or just do what long takes which I tend to like anyway I mean that's amazing we're so happy to be here with you today at news and entertainment getting all this great advice for filmmakers if there was anything that you could say to filmmakers that are trying to make it out there what would you say to them right now well you know it's really um, look you know the same brain surgery you know be kind to your actors and your crew don't you know don't do 18 hour days I mean I Wink, I shot in six hours on, in one day. You know, you don't, if you're prepared, um, you know, and you have the love for the actors and for what you're doing, um, and, and don't, you know, overthink everything. And that, that's really important for actors. I mean, that's my big mantra to actors stop thinking. You know, um, I told my, all my acting students you know, the same thing. Uh, that that can really be the death of a performance, and it's also you know the idea that naturalistic acting, the best actors are naturalistic actors where they're not acting, they're just being. You know, that's why I find that Meisner is the best technique for film because that's all based on repetition. You know, I've had actors come in... And impossible activities. Right? And impossible activities. Exactly. Meisner over here. Yeah. Um, actually, Sarah Q, the feature, is about an acting school. And there are many scenes in it in which a number of the actors are played by uh, former cast members from The Sopranos, which is like casting against type, which is also a great thing. You know... Tell me, of your 40 years in film, what was one of your most memorable experiences on set? Uh, well, that's a tough one, but it could be uh, we were shooting in a studio. And wait, wait. This is John Gallagher giving us some of his legendary stories. You guys will have to stay tuned to get more information on John Gallagher. In the meantime, where can everybody find you? I know you're on Instagram because you and I are Instagram buddies. Exactly. Facebook, Instagram, uh, just the best. IMDb Pro. Um, That's where you can find this legend over here, John Gallagher. And I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment www.newsinentertainment.com. Stay tuned. Want to see more videos? Subscribe to our YouTube News in Entertainment channel. Click right below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.